hello everyone and welcome to my channel today I have decided to make a video about traditional art versus digital art as you are aware if you have been here in my channel before I am both a traditional artist and digital artist so today I'm just gonna share to you my ideas and opinions about these two art forms and you can decide for yourself which one is good for you so this video is just basically the differences between the two so let's dive in first by definition digital art is any art form or practice that uses digital technology as part of the creative process so artists have utilized the use of different software such as photoshop corel products like corel draw illustrator painter among many others on PC and graphic tablets so nowadays you have for graphic tablets you have Samsung you have Huawei you have iPad Pro you have uh, Microsoft Surface Pro now for traditional art that's any art that is produced by the physical media like the physical art material you're gonna need those like pencil paint and pastel and so on space requirement preparation and portability so when you decide to paint or draw something it all basically boils down to this in digital art you only need your tablet or PC and the software for your art the software already comes with a variety of selection of art materials Corel painter for example is already equipped with tools and brushes that simulate the effects of the real brushes and paints canvases are built in you can just select the size some software even allow you to select canvas type if you have a tablet you can paint anywhere portability wise it is forgiving in traditional art however for you to create a full pledged artwork you must have the physical art materials that you need to use and the canvas or paper it also requires a comfort space because you sometimes have your easel, canvas, tubes of paints, and etc. Uh, you need to ensure there is a space for your water if you are doing watercolor. Especially for sculpture, you need space, like a workshop to get creative in a formal sense. Although you have mediums where portability is forgiving, it is usually reserved for sketches and studies that you do on sketchbook prior to creating a final piece skill set and fundamentals it is the same for both art forms you need to know the basics regardless of whether it's digital art or traditional art that means you need to know the proportions of the face and if you are going to do gesture paintings uh, paintings that require a full body of the subject that means you need also to know anatomy you also need to know color schemes, perspective, proportions, light and shadows, tonal values, and especially composition. So these are the basic in art that you need to know regardless of whether you're going to do a digital piece. So on that part, it's the same. Value and tactile property. A digital art piece at the current times have less value than... The artworks and paintings done using the traditional way like for example da vinci's mona lisa painting will always be more valuable compared to a painting of some model done in photoshop recently there have been so many activities in the art world that puts more value to digital art nowadays compared to the previous years new careers are popping out like concept artists for games and uh, just a tip on this one as far as the value of the artwork is concerned you may make it as a principle to only produce one copy to sell and release the artwork with a certificate of authenticity signed by you as the artist that way there will only be one original print of your painting that you sold that should give the artwork an added value now an actual painting however have a different effect on a viewer compared to something you look at on the screen 
If you put side by side an actual painting and a print of a landscape painting done in Photoshop, people tend to gravitate toward the former and it also has to do with the tactile property. An actual painting done in traditional way also have the appeal of having a part of the painter embedded in the canvas. The brush strokes by the painter presents the pressure he applies to the canvas. If the canvas itself was made by the artist himself, even more the painting has a value compared to a print of a painting done in Photoshop. It is because of this appeal that I really could not abandon traditional art to be honest. Value of investment. Going for a digital setup will cost you whatever is the cost of the tool of your choice maybe either a mobile phone, tablet, or PC. For traditional setup, it also depends on your medium. Oil paint is more expensive than acrylic paint. A charcoal pencil is a lot cheaper than the oil and the acrylic paint. So you need to check for yourself if you are, if you are just starting out which medium you wish to focus on and you may proceed from there. Do your research and find out which one suits you best in terms of financial implications. Undoing mistakes. This is simply where the digital art form takes the cake. Digital art is way more forgiving than the traditional art. For digital art, it is just a simple control Z or hitting the undo button. You can easily go back to your previous actions to correct the mistake. Plus, the introduction of layers has really elevated the art form in terms of how it gives the artist more freedom to experiment. As for the traditional art form, although experimentation is always welcome in all cases, this approach comes with financial implications if you do it too much. It is best to plan what you wish to paint and work around the idea. If you make a mistake, it's either you cover the layer of paint with a new one, if you're lucky it will work out or maybe you need to replace and abandon the entire painting. It really depends on what the mistake was. So if the mistake has to do with proportion and composition, it is usually more difficult to address the mistake. Then you will just have to work around it and make something out of it. Unlike to digital art, where there is no wasted paint, shuffling layers and applying filters to the layers also gives you more freedom to adjust even adjust mistakes in proportion and composition easily. Next is the space storage. Where you store your finished artworks? That's the question. For digital art, you store it in your PC and tablet until it is time for you to print them. Post your artwork on different platforms like YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, among others gaining exposures without even having to print the artwork yet. Uh, it is different for traditional art. For traditional art, you need to have a space where you can store your artworks. Some painters who work on big canvases require big studios. For sculptures, it absolutely requires a bigger space. A bigger space compared to a tablet would consume. So which one suits you best? Which one you think is better? Who wins? Or better question, why not do both? i let you decide. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I have a new video. Thanks for watching. Till next time.